Hey guys, um, I'm actually making a video as a follow-up to my uh, how-to article on making imprinting day timestamp with AVS video converter. I have a lot of people calling me asking, you know, for more information on how to do it. So I figured I'll try to make a video so you guys understand how to do it. Um, the first thing you want to do is <clears throat> you want to make sure you record the video onto a camcorder that is HD. And the camcorders that you want to use are the newer Panasonic 2011 to present models, the Sony's 2013 to present, and the higher end 2011 to 2014 Sony's work as well. Basically, the video file has to be true HD, which is ABC HD. As long as you're using one of those cameras, some Canons and JVCs are ABC HD as well. Can't really test them all out. But as long as you're using one of those cameras, AVS video converter will work. So let's say you're using the Panasonic or the Sony, you recorded the video onto your SD card. You put the SD card into your computer, which I'm about to do right now. <clears throat> and the SD card will pop up like this. So I got several monitors running. And basically it's going to be DCIM and private. You can work directly from your SD card. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you what, sorry about the dogs. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you what else I do. I actually make a new folder on my desktop, name it, uh, you know, John Doe, John Doe 7, 11, 14. And that's going to be, you know, the, the subject of surveillance for today and I'm gonna actually transfer these files I don't go to the videos I transfer the all the folders inside the SD card this is essential because eventually I'm gonna delete the SD card information to record on it to it so I want as much original files as I can to be stored on my computer or actually there are my backup hard drives as possible so if I ever need to bring originals to court I got it ready to go um, this eventually will go into my backup hard drive labeled July 2014 and you get the point. That's how I store my video files. So I'm done with the SD card. Now I got this. The video files are in private, ABC HD, DDM, stream. So here are the video files. This is very important. You never edit the names of these video files. If I rename this from 00, 000, 000 to just the number one or the letter I, it doesn't matter. I edited the original video and now it's not an original video anymore so you never ever ever change the names of these video files okay so i'm going to open up abs video converter and uh it's going to be a little bit slower than usual because i'm actually recording onto a desktop once abs video converters open i'm going to want to put the video files into this area you never drag and drop because if i just drag and drop which will work the um, order of the videos may get messed up. So you want to click the blue button, add files, uh, find the folder. folder. Okay. Private, ABCHD, BDM, stream, here we go. Click on any of these folders, um, I'm sorry, files, press Control A, it's going to select everything, and then you click open. Now, you got all the all your video files in here in the correct order. Next is you pick your format. I always pick MPEG. The reason I pick MPEG is because eventually if this video goes on to a DVD, the best quality for conversion is MPEG to DVD. Um, so I don't want to lose video quality. Then I'm going to choose, after MPEG, I go over here. Out, you want to save it on your desktop. Um, so click Browse and click Desktop. And click save. Once you do that once, from now on, it's automatically going to save on your desktop. Profile. <clears throat> you really have two options. This DVD, DVD is this, and MPEG 2 is going to be the same, pretty much same profile. So you want to either pick MPEG 2 or HD video 1080p. The only reason I would choose HD video is if it, I'm not going to put it on a DVD because once I put it on a DVD, it degrades the video to MPEG 2 anyways. So the only time I use HD video is if I'm using a small video file, 10 to 20 minutes long, that I'm going to send via uploading my video files instead of a DVD. This way, 
I get much higher quality. But why I say a small video file? Because an hour HD video that's an hour long is probably going to be like three gigs or two and a half gigs. So let's click MPEG 2. Then you click advanced over here. Okay, audio. I want to remove the audio. No audio. I just removed the audio to all my video files. So next and final thing and the most important thing is the sub picture. This is how you put the date timestamp on each of these video files. Um, a lot of people email me, call me and say that this sub picture option doesn't work for them. It's great. The only reason this will not work is either because you're using a camera that is not true HD or if you are using a Panasonic, a Sony, a so on, a newer Sony. The other reason this won't work and the only other reason this won't work is because somehow you edited the video files, the original video files, either by transferring them onto your computer or so on. Um, if that's the case, if this isn't working, try to add the files not from your desktop but from the SD card itself. And that should definitely work. And if that doesn't work, then you, the camera is just not a HD camera. Okay, <clears throat> so now that I gave that lecture, each video file you want to click on and choose track one. Click on it and choose track one for each video file. You know, 60 video files takes me maybe, you know, two minutes to do. It's well worth the tedious. buttons uh, on It's well worth the tedious time to, you know, click these video files, which in reality, if I was working properly right now, would take me much faster than going. But, um, you know, two, three minutes of doing this to upgrade the video quality drastically and to save conversion time in the end is well worth it. Okay, so once that's done, all you got to do is click convert now and it converts. The conversion time is dependent upon the quality of your computer and how much stuff you got going on in the background. Right now, it's actually going much slower than usual because I'm recording video onto my computer, so I'm eating some memory. This laptop is not my primary video editing machine. This laptop's my, um, you know, surveillance laptop that I take on, on to work with me. My primary video editing machine is a little bit more powerful. But if you go to my computer on Windows 7 or this PC on Windows 8, right click it, click Properties, you'll be able to see the parameter. You'll be able to see the parameter of your computer this is really the minimum you should have um you know a computer like this is not that expensive in reality so this is something that you should guys always have you know a core i7 worst case scenario core i5 uh 2.4 gigahertz at least 8 gigabytes of ram this is the minimum you should really have um you know my primary video editing machine has 32 gigs of ram i want to put it up to 64 you know it ends up quad core so it's much more strong much more powerful than this uh, point being is this video machine, th this laptop, which is, you know, fairly weak, as you see, a minute and a half of video when nothing else is running takes about a minute to convert. So an hour of video is going to take me, you know, 40 minutes to convert. That's much faster than Dazzle. My video editing machine, which is, you know, a $3,500 machine, um, an hour of video takes 20 minutes to convert. That's pretty cool. The other really, really, really cool thing where about this whole way that I convert videos compared to the Dazzle device and Pinnacle. First of all, this never crashes. I've seen Pinnacle crash on even high-end machines. Um, but more importantly is that, let's say I got five cases going on, you know, two hours each case. And I gotta make the videos as soon as possible on all the cases, because they all closed today. I could actually put all the videos into five separate AVS. I could open up AVS Video Converter, you know, five separate times do this whole process five times press convert now and they'll all be converting at the same time they're going to take slower because your computer is going slower but you do that overnight you know 10 p.m whatever you're going to sleep you press convert now on all five videos you come back you come back in the morning all sorry you come back in the morning all five videos have been converted that's that's where the biggest time saving really comes in honestly okay, so now that we're going to finish this up in about a minute so basically right now, this is going to finish up and technically I'm done. I'm ready to upload my file or I could put it on an SD card, put it on a DVD and I'm good to go. That's all you really need to do. There we go. And it went on my desktop. So transfer it. 
do the desktop. So here we go. This is the video file. I open everything with VLC Media Player. Uh, I love VLC Media Player. So this is the video file. You get the point. Um, so there's license plates. So, okay. That's it. I'm done. I can name it John Doe 7. 11, 11, 14. There you go. I'm done. Now, here's some more cool stuff that I'm going to teach you guys. AVS Video Editor. This thing is, you know, there's a lot of video editing programs, and I use all of them. I use Pinnacle. I use Adobe. I have, you know, a ton of programs. But you don't need most of them. 99% of you will not need most of them. 99% of you, this is all you really need, and this is what almost everybody submits right now. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to teach you is going to put you in the top 1%, and it's going to take you an extra four or five minutes to do for each video, uh, you know, for each final package for your client. You open up AVS Video Editor. I'm not sure which show desktop it's opening up on. Okay, I open up AVS Video Editor. I put this video file in here. Always click yes over here. Okay, it's in here. So here's your video file. Now I do some other cool things which should take you really fast to do. Uh, I find my logo. I'll throw my logo in here. I'll throw it as, as the first one. So here's my logo. Um, this is actually a picture. And the picture duration you could set to whatever you want. I like to say, I double click the logo, I set it to three three seconds instead of five. So you gotta just double click and change this. This centerpiece where the arrow is, you click on that, you click transition, you pick a transition, whichever one you want. My favorite, it's simple, it's right here. So now when my client's gonna play the video, they're gonna see my logo. It's not going to be this uh, skippy. The only reason it's, it's like that is because it's in the editing program. Once you finalize the video, it's going to be very, very clean. So you see how it goes? I mean, it goes from my logo transitions into a video. That's pretty cool already. I mean, that's already top 1% for video editing for investigators that are, you know, most clients. Because I, a lot of clients send me other investigators videos because they worked the case previously or they want me to edit them up. Um, you know, a lot of investigators send me the videos because they want me to edit it up. And honestly, if you just put this logo in and you do this transition, you're already in the top 1% top. Okay, next, you want to do to get you in the top, you know, 5.5 percentages, click disk menu. This is the standard disk menu for ABS editor. And all you really want to do is you could take some pictures and you throw it in here, uh, throw a picture in here. I'm just doing, you know, sample BS pictures. But, what, you know, you're taking pictures for your report anyways. You could put pictures of your claimant. So now look how badass that looks. Your claimant over here picking up a box. Your claimant over here doing something. Your claimant's house over here or something like that. And then you could name it, you know, John Doe Surveillance. So now you, now this is what your menu will look like over here. This is already, you know, top, I'm telling you, it's top 0.01 percentage of investigator videos because most PIs just send in raw video and that's it. They don't do any of this menu stuff. So this is going to really set you apart. Um, later you can go into chapters and content play around with those options too, but I can't really go into it because of you know, time restraints. So you did that. You click produce. Then you click <coughs> disk if you want to make a disk or file. So let's click disk. Next. DVD high quality. Next. Name it whatever you want, and then you click create. This should run for about you know 30, here's a 30 seconds, 35 seconds. And once it's done running, <clears throat> you burn the disk. To the Cali members, if you guys still want me to maybe give a class on video editing, there's a couple of more programs that I could show. Uh, programs to you that for cell phones, programs to um, for cameras that aren't HD, let me know and you know maybe I'll we'll figure out how to give some kind of presentation to you guys. <clears throat> if this is enough, great. I really hope it is. I really hope this teaches you what um, you know, what my blog couldn't. So once that's done, you click burn.